I would like to show you today how to update your watch wireless and the reason you might want to do that is if you have some corrupt firmware on your watch uh, you're having problems with it rebooting all the time something like that you might want to try this wireless update to try and resolve that issue you might be able to narrow down what the problem is with your watch so first thing you need to do is turn it off so you push the home button hold it so you get the power off, turn it off, wait for it to turn off completely, then push and hold the power button, the home button, keep holding it until you see at the very bottom you'll see rebooting. When you see that, you want to hit that button three times. Then you use the same home button to scroll through the different settings here. And you can see if you, you if you push the button, you can scroll through them, and you want to stop on the oh, wireless download wireless. And the reason I keep pushing the button is because if I stop pushing it, it'll reboot and it won't do anything. As soon as you find, as soon as you stop on the download wireless, push and hold the button. What we need to do now is we need to change it from WPS mode to app or access point mode so you push the home button twice and then it should change to app mode enabling and it says SW or something 365 I believe then you want to go to your computer and log on to that network so basically your your watch is broadcasting that access point name and you should be able to log on to it with your computer so we'll do that next. Once we have the watch in AP mode, we need to go to our network connections here. And we're looking for the SMR365, which is right there. And we want to connect to it. Of course, when it connects, it may say that it doesn't have internet connection, which is pretty obvious. So now we're connected. So then we need to go to NetOdin. Uh, you're going to need NetOdin, which is the software used to communicate with your watch. And you're going to need the files to upload. I'll leave links to the location of these files in the description. And uh, the files that you're going to be uploading are these three files here. They, there's different files for different watches and there's different files for different versions, uh, newer or older software. So we open NetOdin and we just need to run NetOdin application. And basically you just have to find the three files. And it puts a check mark by the file if it's the correct file for the, your watch. All three files are selected, or you could do you could upload individual files as well. Uh, you just have to hit the start button. And needless to say, you want to make sure your watch is charged up and has enough power to complete this task, which can take up to 20, 20 minutes. Uh, or alternatively, you can have it on the charge base, and it can be charging while it's uploading, so that for sure it's not going to um, lose connection. So we can see the status bar here is almost at the end. You can see there's a status bar on the watch as well as on the screen of your computer. Once that finishes, you're, you've, you've completed the update. Here we can see on the computer it says it's passed. And your, your watch is rebooting. And it should reboot into the main screen and uh, all should be good. So here we can see that the watch has been reloaded with new firmware and software. It's like a new, new watch out of the package. 
we can load it, we'll probably have to repair it with our phone. So if you have it, if it, if at one time it was linked to another phone, this is a way to reset it, as well as just wipe out any bad or corrupt software that's been loaded onto the watch and uh, get you up, up and running again.